So I'm chatting here with Brian Barclay, who works for Opportunity International Australia. Good buddy of mine for many years. For those who don't know what he looks like, which is probably most of you, looks a little bit like Tony Gregg from the uh, South African cricket team. He's from South Africa as well. Great man of God. Mate, tell us what you loved about the trip. Oh, thanks, Matt. Good, good to be speaking with you again. And uh, you look... Uh, in the Philippines, uh, visiting our, our partner ASCII up in the northern part of the Philippines, I, I have um, been there with groups of supporters several times before, but this uh, trip was particularly um, special. Uh, we, 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 we met some um, amazing clients who we have helped over the years, and um, one particular gentleman who stands out in my mind is a, is a guy named uh, Alexander, and uh, Alexander's he's 44 years old, he's got um, two children. And he received his first loan from our partner ASCII about um, 15 years ago. At the time, he was driving a what they call it, like a tricycle, earning um, a couple of dollars a day. And he took out a series of loans. And he's got to the stage now where 15 years down the track, he has his own bakery and employs 15 people from the local community. So he's got an amazing uh, sort of baking set up at his home there and he's producing uh, beautiful uh, breads and biscuits and he distributes to um, other outlets in the area but he also has his, his own bakery retail outlet. So it's just a remarkable story how um, from the beginning of a small loan and a series of loans over time, this uh, Alex has been able to build up a, a thriving enterprise and providing livelihood for... Um, 15 families in his community because someone believed in him and gave him an opportunity and uh, Alexander's thriving um, and he's feeling uh, blessed to have had this opportunity and is now certainly a, a, a wonderful blessing to others in his community so it's stories like this that, um, that uh, just motivate me when, and inspire me when I'm in Australia to try and bring supporters from Australia on this journey where for a very small amount they can make a massive difference uh, certainly in a place uh, like, uh, like here in the Philippines and we were able to take part in some devotions with the, all the staff before they go out and work for the day isn't it great to see they start the day with the Lord and uh, you know try to be the hands and feet of Jesus throughout the day where they're going. It's great that they've got that strong Christian foundation, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, our, our partner, ASCII, um, they, they have staff devotions um, 8 o'clock every morning uh, for about an hour. What a way to start the, the day. Um, it's alive, it's joyful. They, uh, they, they know where they're at for the day. They, they write with God and they're in His will and... Uh, it's just such a such a vibrant and uh, joyful situation every day. And mate, the uh, the traffic over here in the Philippines has it been good for your prayer life? Uh, absolutely, mate. Um, you know, we drive on the right side of the road here, and um, but spend seem to spend more time on the left, overtaking against oncoming traffic. And there's been a bit of ducking and weaving, and uh, the odd. It's great that three three cars can pass each other at once. Um, so a few prayers, mate, and lots of. Eyes closed, praying, praying, which is really good, uh, but but it's it's all good fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Brian. God bless.